Hi, it's Dee from No Better Do Better, um, back to talk to you again. I have a, uh, a question uh, that um, a lady uh, put on the, the Facebook page that I thought was a really, really good one and that um, I'd love to address for you. The question is why enemas may not have worked in the past and how do you know it's time for a clean out? Uh, to start with the first part of the question, uh, why enemas may not have worked in the past. Now that's going to be t depend on what sort of enemas uh, you have been using. So you have little uh, bisacodal um, enemas, they're 5 ml of liquid and if you're using them and talking about those, one of the reasons that that may have uh, not worked on occasion or had stopped working is because it's only 5 ml of liquid, it's only getting into a very small portion of, of the colon. So the colon is about as long as your child is tall. And so, depending on where the poo is, um, if it's further up than those first couple of inches, it may not be enough to stimulate um, the, the contractions to bring the poo down low enough uh, to, to get it coming out. If your child is a very strong holder um, of their poo, uh, it just may not be strong enough uh, to, to get past that clenched uh, a sphincter muscle of the child. I've heard of plenty of people tell them that um, the child can just expel the uh, the enema liquid and, and retain the, the poo still. So that can be one of the reasons. If it's a large volume um, water enema, uh, so we're talking half a litre to a litre of, um, of water that you've put into your child's bowel, um, it in the same way it can perhaps not bring that poo down low enough, it will certainly reach further. It can also be that, that because that poo is really, really hard, um, if you imagine like squeezing down on, on a rock, um, I, I give a bit of a, it's a bit gross, but a, a sausage analogy. So if you can imagine the peristalsis squeezing down on a, a cooked sausage, sorry, an uncooked sausage, and it squeezes and it oozes, like pushes the, the softened stuff through the casing. Um, that's when you've got a nice soft poo, that's kind of how, that's my take on how the, the peristalsis moves that, that waste through. Now if you imagine if that's a cooked sausage and you've got these muscles squeezing down on a cooked sausage, it's not, it's not moving through that casing, it's just squashing down on it. So sometimes if that poo's still quite hard, you're just squeezing down on it, um, even though you've added that water in. We need that water to get it soft so that it's more like sausage meat uncooked sausage meat so it can actually squeeze and push that through but at least you know with every um, every bag in a month that you do that that water is then being uh, soaked into that poo and it's going to get softer because poo gets hard because the colon pulls water out what's the best way to make a poo soft put water back in what's the easiest way to put water back in put it up the rear end um, you know the the softeners that they give you go in the mouth and they travel all the way down through the, the intestinal tract until they get down to the colon and then it gets the body, your body's water, it takes your body's water to pull into that colon to make that poo um, soft again. So, you know, imagine what that's doing to, to a child's, you know, cellular water levels, um, if you like. On that base level, just adding water back in is gonna help soften that poo. Um, a lot of water will also trigger that peristalsis to help move it out and I will actually do a video on how water enemas work because um, a colon hydrotherapy session which is what I uh, do for my, my business is um, ongoing flow of water, very gentle water that goes in and then the waste just is washed or you know pushed back out again so it goes in, it softens and it gets pushed back out. So a bag enema is like a smaller um, short version of, of doing that. So that might be one reason if you're using the, the, the bag enema. Um, or there's another product called a fleet enema, which is I think about 330 mils of liquid, still based around the same as the bisacodal, um, the little ones like a Microlax or a um, Bisalax. Um, it's got a stimulant in it and also the, the product in it to draw the moisture to that area. So that is just a bit more bit more fluid, um, but still doing the same job as the, the, the chemical enema. Um, so that could be why the enemas um, don't work on occasion. Um, they certainly are um, a very, very good tool to have to, um, to get this, you know, moving through and keep coming through and out of your child and getting them to poo every day. Um, because you are 
triggering their their um their urge response um to then get that that muscle retrained to to release um, but all of that is also covered in the the soiling solutions clean kids manual which you can find at anchorpresis.com um, it explains all of that um, and also puts it into a program that you can that you can utilize to to help your child um, you know you can stop the soiling sort of pretty much straight away after a clean out which leads me to the next question is how do you know your child needs a clean out the most obvious sign is um, a return to soiling um, but bearing in mind if your child has returned to soiling for soiling to happen and I would say go watch you the YouTube video the poo in you if you don't understand this but a return to soiling means that colon is full again um, it's just so much better to not get that far into it before um, doing doing that clean out sequence the best way really um, for my mind is when you're monitoring your child's output every day um, and you have a level of expectation of quantity uh, and you will find that information in the, the Soiling Solutions uh, manual as well. I sound like a broken down record. Um, if you have an expectation of, of levels every day, you will notice that, that will start to reduce. And as it starts to reduce, it's a good idea to just go in and do um, sometimes, you know, a good idea is an insurance enema. They will, it will just be, you know, on the weekend, give them a large volume, bag enema, keep making sure that that poo's come out, get any extra coming out, and then we start again. So um, output is a really, really good indicator that um, things are just slowly backing up again. You really don't want to get to, to soiling because you, you're just back at square one. Um, it's one of the reasons why I guess I'm an advocate of being more more aggressive um i don't feel in this condition that you can be too aggressive um but i totally feel that you can be too little aggressive um if you let it go it will get back on top of you um, nothing bad's really going to happen if you you know overestimate um and give an enema more often to make sure that that's clear um because at least you'll know that you know it is clear and it is healing and empty but underestimating it and you will get that very, very, very slow back up and you will get back to a soiling point, which is, you know, potentially a couple of feet full of um, poo. So hopefully that's helped and, and answered that question for you. Um, if you do have any more questions or anyone has a question, please go to Know Better Do Better on Facebook and leave me a, uh, leave me a comment and I'll try to address, uh, address those issues. All right, well, thank you very much for listening and um, it's deep from Know Better Do Better. All right, have a good day.